and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to the WBM podcast. This is one of your hosts. It's your boy, Mark. Hey, good. Welcome back, everybody. It's your boy, Chapo. <laughs> <laughs> and it's your boy, Tico in the mix. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a great show lined up for you guys this week. Tell them, Mark. We're talking Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. Season five, ladies and gentlemen, just recently dropped. Uh, on Netflix. So that shit was hot. So we're going to definitely talk about that. We're also going to be talking about uh, Arcane, Arcane. The TV series that came out last year. That's right. It's connected to that video game, right? League of Legends. Uh, you guys what may I have heard of it. Yeah. Uh, another thing that we're also going to be talking about is going to be a few new Netflix shows are going to be coming out. Uh, I hope you guys stay tuned to find out more. All right. You guys ready? And we are sponsored by Netflix. We're about to be. Let's go! <laughs> Hey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How you doing? How you, How you doing? doing? How you doing? Hey, man, I'm doing great. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I can give whatever you need, fam. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm walking here. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm walking here. I'm well, walking here. <clears throat> now I'm going to do my, um, the other, the, the, the complete opposite. Oh, <laughs> I'm probably see for my voice acting, bro. <laughs> Yo, it's all good, man. Yeah. Speaking of acting, guys, we got to go ahead and talk about the acting that took place on Cobra Kai for season five, guys. Yeah. I got, I'm not gonna uh, lie. Yeah. So last week we, we talked a little bit about Cobra Kai, but That's I had right. I bench I bench watched season five. That's right. Nice. And I finished it in a week. Shout and, out to binge uh, culture. It's still it's still all the hype. <laughs> it's oh, all man. the hype. It's all the hype. Yeah. For me, hands down, like I said, this was fucking my favorite season so far. Of Cobra Kai, um, the fact side. that they had so many badass fight scenes, so many cool callbacks, uh, so many cool just homages to the franchise. It was really dope to see that come around. And like I said, they really went ahead and took a page strictly from Fast and the Furious, and it was all about family this season. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit about all of it. It's about family. Family. Uh, Toretto showed up. Yeah, bro. He great. sure did. <laughs> You roundhouse somebody with his, uh, with his <laughs> 69 Charger? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but uh, no, man, I mean, there were some really great moments in there as far as uh, when all three bad guys actually finally showed up together on screen. Oh, man, I thought that was like Enter the Miyagi-verse. Damn. Dude, it was sick as fuck. <laughs> like, That's funny. Every nemesis from the first three Cobra Kai movies yes. are all like, back to let's back. fucking go. <laughs> yeah, bro. Let's all... fucking kick this guy's ass. Yeah, team kicked this guy's ass, and it was great. One of the guys immediately gets dropped from the, <laughs> the third Miyagi movie. Miyagi-verse. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, he gets, he gets, Bro, it's building his own multiverse where they're bringing all the characters back. Well, remember, it's it's back interesting to, that they really got the original people to come back. They nice. really did. And Every so, single one, you know, Johnny Lawrence, of course, is the main character. Yes. But from the second one, Chosen, you know, has come back from last season. Oh, dude. And from the third one, what is that? Mike Barnes. Mike the, Barnes. The, 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 he was fought in the third one. Yes. They brought him back. Yeah, man. Yeah. It did, it was kind of weird how he like showed up in the beginning of the series and then it was like throughout the middle just disappeared. Yeah. yeah. And then came back. Must have been some scheduling recent. Yeah. I guess, but or <laughs> I don't know, man. But it, it did bother me. I was like, oh, bro, he literally just made an appearance just to yeah. do one fight and then that was it. But when he came back towards the end, it did make it more hype though, because I was like, yeah. damn, he, I thought he was done. I didn't think he was gonna come back at all. Especially when he jacked the limo and he took off, you know, obviously. I was yeah, like, was Who the cool. fuck spoilers, was spoilers, that? Spoilers. Yeah, I'll full of spoilers. Fucking yeah, bro. Spoilers. <laughs> um, uh, he's karate's bad boy. <laughs> so stupid. But all that, being, all that being said, it plugs to last week's episodes. Make sure you guys check that out—the new Karate Kid movie again. That's re- reintroducing yeah. the original series back into the big screen. Yeah, so. watch the the original ones recently. Recently, no, not as recently. Uh, recently, like within the, the last past, time I, the last time I watched them was like, like two, three years ago, maybe. Uh, yeah, I said within the past five years, I've. Seen I them. watched them when like when the Cobra Kai first hit uh, Netflix. I was like, let me watch them. You mean YouTube? No, when it first hit Netflix. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I didn't watch Cobra Kai when it was on YouTube. Same, me neither. Same. Yeah, I didn't either. So when it first hit Netflix, like I said, yeah, yeah. That's, right. that's, well, that's, fuck me. No. <laughs> that's, that's when I. That's when I went back. I rewatched the Karate Kid, and uh, you know. I don't know if you could say they hold up. No. Oh. But I really liked those movies as a kid. So yeah. Watching them again was like, yeah. oh, I, re- I do really like this movie. Yeah. I like that they've called out the plot holes. Like, you like it for what it is. Yeah. In Cobra Kai, they do a really good An job. An 80s movie. Of like, uh, remember how like the 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 point that the part that didn't make any sense about the carrot basket in the the, the second movie, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, he's yeah, like, talking about the stories. Yeah, they and he's like, the stories weren't like, you were stealing money from yourself? Oh, bro, it wasn't uh, one of my uh, best uh, ideas. Uh, like, <laughs> I, and they can just laugh about it because you're right. The story 
probably wasn't that great. But it was stupid. They fought to the death to the as death fucking teenagers. For no reason, bro. Oh yeah. my gosh. It was funny. And then the blocks of ice, like six blocks of ice with your bare hand. Who? Come on, bro. Come on. So, yeah, I think it was those 80 spiels that just show you, like, you have to do this hard training, you know. Right. Training. There's always the training montage with a dope ass song, though. Hearts <laughs> on fire, and the limo, and yeah, the limo, and the limo. Like uh, the main characters, after they get drunk, they start uh, jamming "Eye of the Tiger." <laughs> <laughs> How much did they pay and for the, that? The bro? kids are getting ready to go fight Cobra Kai. <laughs> yes, bro. Right. Of course, the big rumble. The tiger. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. We don't know the rights to any of these songs, but no, yeah, no, man, no, it was no, great. No. Uh, I thought that was cool. But again, I'm like, how much did they pay for just the rights to that one song alone, bro? It's Netflix. They can afford it, sir. Are they? They're shutting down animation. That's all I know, bro. Okay, that's all I know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I, I really, really enjoyed the, the Eye of the Tiger at the moment. I mean, there's so many good 80s references that they pull back from there uh, every now and then. Oh, and what do you know? Amanda, his wife, mm -hmm. is the cousin of the girl love interest from the third movie. Oh, oh my that God. That connection. When they made that connection, I was like, what? I forgot about that. Yeah, when they like, broke, she's shit. like, they even assaulted me. I was like, she's like, you don't know what it was yeah. like back then. I was like, I was like who is this fuck? girl? And, and then, then they, they showed the flashback. Yeah. and like, oh, it's the one from the third movie. Bro, this shit was so live. I was like, they nice. fucking did their homework on this shit, bro. Like, hey. they brought it back. And then they connected. It's just like. She was her cousin, and yes. that's how Daniel San met. And that's how they met, right? Kind of thing. I was like, dude, that was so freaking Daniel cool. San, Daniel San. San. Walks on, walks on. Amanda San. I'm go San. Yeah, Amanda <laughs> San. Did you see how uh, she had her saved in the, in the cell phone? <laughs> How was it? Husband son. Husband son. Oh. That was hilarious. Yeah. That's cute. That was that's funny. cute, I do. Yeah. Cute, I do. Uh, uh, and Miguel, Miguel is still, uh, that's homie. Oh, Miguel's still uh, one of my favorite. The whole characters. series, man. He's the one that has him fucked up in any kind of way. Nice. Because nah. all the other characters fuck up so bad. Robbie's fucked up like tremendously. Sam LaRusso. Tori's fucked I up. Just, I just don't like Sam. <laughs> you know, Sam's character is like, you know what? Originally, both of LaRusso's kids are like shit. Like, they were like little shits, yeah. 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 And then the, luckily their dad knew karate, and that's how they kind of got out, you know? <laughs> but yeah. Tori doesn't fuck up. Tori just like does what's worse for herself. Tori's she gets a, fucked over. She gets fucked over left she gets and right. Fucked over and there's nothing she could do. No, but she's like she's uh, but been Tori's a badass also, since the Tori's ride or die too. Oh yeah, bro. Her her and uh Robbie just need to get together and make that shit happen. Yeah, at the end it looked like make they were it happen. Going to. Right. Oh, how about like at the end of the season, they had like that one classic eighties, nineties uh cliche. Where like after the big fight, there's a bunch of ambulances and fire <laughs> oh, outside, yeah. and yeah. they got the sirens going, and they're all having their moments by the ambulance. Right, everybody's all yeah. Like classic Why cliche. Are so you know what I'm talking about? Here. Like classic, <laughs> classic diehard Andy, a bunch of cops outside and shit. A bunch of cops, right. a bunch yeah. of uh, yeah. No reason. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how the season ended. Nice. Yeah, that was freaking funny. But uh, oh, let's also talk about the big uh, cliffhanger at the. Well, wait, wait, wait. Before that. Um, let's go ahead and bring back uh, Crease being in prison and he had that therapy session, man. John Crease. John Crease having his therapy session moment man. where he was going back and having his flashbacks with everybody from the past that he had affected in his life. People that he had fucked over, people that, that he loved. Uh, and then they showed young Johnny which I thought was really fucking sick, man, <laughs> to see him like as a 16-year-old kid or whatever. They even like fixed his voice, I guess, to be back like that, yeah, too. Yeah, it was some kind of CGI shit. Yeah, yeah. they like totally... It, it was cool seeing that. It was so... I, I got hyped as fuck seeing that. And then after that, he's like... Um, you gotta find your inner self. Yes. <laughs> and it brought back the actor that played the younger version of him in Vietnam. Yes. And uh, uh, that guy goes in and starts... And that's supposed to be Crease in that point, but he's having like, this is who I am at this moment uh, kind of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, they show his character just fucking going off and whooping everybody's ass in the, and that's how he earns everybody respect because they used to oh, fuck yeah. with them and like they, for the fight in the prison scene yes it's like you want to find out and he turns to like his younger self yes because he doesn't get respect in prison at yeah. first he's like okay sensei well because he doesn't want to fight right yeah. and yeah. then once he steps up everybody's like hey sensei like it's respect yeah. now it's turned from like a you uh, had to see what he was about yeah, yeah man so that was really cool but Hearts on fire, strong desire. Where, where the fuck is that from? Rocky Par Four, where they against the cook. Oh, it's the, the montage. Yeah, so yeah. he's like in the street. Uh, right? I would just pick in the random '80s montage. My bad. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, you yeah. gotta go with Rocky One, bro. <laughs> I am the tiger. <laughs> 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 There's a really hilarious Rocky reference. Whatever the that world 
Kai Kataka, whatever, Karate World, Karate World Tournament. Kurikitaka. Judges. Yeah. It's Kurikitaka T. Uh, now, what is it? <laughs> Kai, Kai something. Um, Anyways, uh, they, they're judging it, and uh, Johnny Lawrence is showing off his dojo, and he's like, sometimes you got to do it like Rocky. And the guy is like, Drago! <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Drago! <laughs> Yeah, it's just like sometimes he's gonna do. He's like, I know we look unorthodox in here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, he's like, like Rocky Four. No, Rocky Three. Or Rocky four? Three. Rocky Three. Rocky Three is with Clover Clang. No, that's with the oh no no, it is four. Yeah, it's it's four. Rocky Four is with Drago, right? Yes, with the yes, Russian. Yes. Or yeah. Rocky Three. No, Mr. T is Rocky Three. Yeah, Mr. T's Rocky Three. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. He loses Rocky, and wins the same movie. Rocky Two got the rematch and he finally wins. Oh, yes. okay, that's yeah. right. So Rocky yeah. Four is the one with the Russian. Yeah, right. and the Russian character goes like Rocky Four united my nation. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky Four, yeah, yeah, like, seeing nation. Drago fall united my nation. <laughs> 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 fucking great. So stupid. You know, he knows what I mean. Like, he yeah. knows I do. I, mean. I do. Yes, <laughs> that was hilarious. Drago! Nah, nah Netflix comes out with some solid shows, huh? Oh, man. They come up with fantastic shows. You yeah, know what man, I know show? Cobra Kai is going to keep on going. So, oh. looking forward to season six probably next year. Absolutely. Plus the movie. Can't wait. Um, but another one that, you know, it's also done fantastic. And I didn't even realize the hype was so lit until Tico told me about it was Arcane, man. Arcane was fucking You know, fantastic. when it first came out, the reviews for it were all fire. Da, 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 I had heard the things. Like, all the reviews were like nine stands. Right? Imagine yeah. Dragon. The thing that song is, blew the fuck up. Enemy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Enemy was, was a yeah, little song. I'm an enemy. I, right. I listened to this song before watching the show. I would jam that song before watching the show because that song was off. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not a League of Legends player. So I was like, why, why am I going to watch the show if I don't play League of Legends? Like, yeah. I just wasn't interested. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it, bro. <laughs> Life is so short to play League of Legends. That's true, that's true. I, Never, I agree. Don't, don't ever download the game. Don't ever spend 45 minutes for one match. <laughs> you know, have that's the, how it starts. The, don't, don't, don't. Don't get good at it, you know. It is a PC only <laughs> game, so that's why I never played it. Like if yeah. it had been in console, maybe I played it, but since it's PC only, yeah. I'm not a PC player, so I, never I agree. Played it. One thousand. So it was like, okay, this arcane show looks badass, but you know, it's yeah. not something. Yeah, I don't about, know anything. I don't know it. anything about it, so why would I jump in? I, yeah, man. But then one day at Netflix uh, has that uh, <laughs> suggestions. No, that play something random. Oh, oh yeah, you yeah, actually yeah. use that. Every now and then, I have. I oh, have some gems. I have. I have. Okay. I have some gems. All right. Yeah. All right. And, uh, Just try it. Try yeah. it one day. Every now and then, like if you like, I don't decide it because like sometimes I sit on there. It's like I can watch this. I can watch this. I can watch this. Yes. I can watch this. I've done this. that. Yeah. Like I go on on a doom scroll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Where you just scroll. To infinity and Scroll. doom. <laughs> <laughs> and doom. <laughs> <laughs> but I play something every now and then, and uh, that's how they were like, okay, play Arcane, which had been suggested for me for like ever. Yeah. Apparently Netflix knows what I like. It knows, it bro. Knows. It, it, bro. Knows. it knows. Even knows. when you were like, no, Netflix, I'm not going to watch that shit. I'm not going to like it. Then you end up watching it. Yeah. It's go. <laughs> it's peak. It's peak, bro. Ninety eight percent like. I mean, I'm probably gonna like it, bro. You know I'm saying? gonna be at two percent. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I did that uh, random shuffle, play something, and played Arcane. One episode in, lit. Yeah, fire. Yeah, the animation is great. I like how they also show like the format. I did the background and everything. How it's like not really two D. I mean three mm. D. Like some components are three D. Right. Some components are like two D. Yeah, I did see that. But it gives it a more like you know. Um, Expansive, you know, more detail depth, point of the, yeah. depth of the world. Thank you. Yeah. Know, it's it's a very different animation style. Yeah, it was actually man. produced by a French animation studio. Oh, really? It's magnifique. Fortiche. Magnifique. Fortiche. Yeah. No. I, yeah, man. So the game, <laughs> 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 magnifique. No, man. The game, the game is pretty much a set game when it's like five on five, right? You and five dudes and five dudes. It pretty much you just. Go about it and just beat the shit out of each other, right? But every character has their own specific role. There's a tank player. Right. There's a shooter, where this is the character Jinx. Mm -hmm. And then the character Jinx will have, like, support. You know, so there'll be another tank. Mm -hmm. In the middle role, be, like, a, a, a magician or an assassin. And then it's the jungle role. The jungle role <clears throat> helps harass and push the lane. So sometimes sometimes the fights are 1v1. And then sometimes at least a 2v1. So you, like, they strategically, like, jumped you. And that character will be V. So that character in the game will do abilities where like she has these big gauntlets like the show, ah. right? And so, but in the game, she will like her abilities like she'll launch, launch herself towards you, make a big ass like stomp on the ground and like mm -hmm. hit like twenty dudes at like your your like twenty opponents at the same. Well, your five opponents at the same time, right? Right. Jinx, Jinx is like a, like a psychopath, just like the show, right? Mm -hmm. But this is the game. She has a ability where she shoots like a machine gun. Oh, 
uh, or you can sh- gun, or, right? or switch it and there's like a bazooka. Bah, bah, but she does bah. have also. Nice. She drops like nice. bombs on the ground. So if you hit that bomb on the ground, you're trapped. Right, uh, and then like so, so the whole thing is like Jinx is one of the strongest, well, one of the most broken characters in the game because every time she kills a character, she speeds up. So it's uh, like, if so, in theory, if all five and she's killing them, and you're trying to run away from her, she's fucking on your she's, ass. She's on your ass. And Nine. for example, let's say I got away, I made it to the other side of the map. Her special is she can throw a big missile from anywhere in, in, around the map. So if you're a one, so you're like, oh, thank God, I made it. Boom! Holy shit! Nice. That's she gets, sick. That's her special that's ability. Awesome. So sometimes it's like one of the best parts is like imagine it's a fight, everybody going off a magician. You know, you're trapped here, you can't move, everybody's dying. Pa 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 pa. Like abilities are low. You think your team's about to die, and just out of nowhere you hear, <laughs> boom. Penta kill Damn. five dead in one shot. Jinx. Oh, that's how we're game. Yeah, it's, a, it's yeah. a sick game. Yeah, and that's and then, uh, that's what cool. the series focuses on on the two sisters. It really does. Uh, Bye and Jinx or yes. Powder when she's young. Yeah, that's and then right. She eventually turns into Jinx. Yeah, eventually she gives. So that's, up that's the focus of the show. The two sisters. I don't know if they're sisters. In the, I mean, they gotta be sisters. Uh, in the yeah, game. there is a lore in the game, but like it gets it yeah. gets like galactic and then spiritual. <laughs> yeah, I think they, I yeah. think the, the show kind of keeps it a little grounded. Like cool. it sticks to one city, basically. Cool. I guess, yeah. yeah there does. is a thing uh, called Hextech. It's like the shit you Hextech buy. And the show Hextech yeah. is barely coming up. Like, Hextech is like, created. They show in this the, process. Yeah, they show yeah. the creation of Hextech yeah, cool. or how they started doing it. Yeah. And actually, how people originally opposed it uh, at at one point. When, yeah. Like the main leader was like, y'all don't need to be doing this and this. And then they finally were able to successfully create it. At which point they're like, okay, we can use this for space travel and intergalactic, you know shit like that just yeah. getting across the planet much much faster like yeah. it's like instant transmission more or less yeah fucking you're gone it's yeah. magic you know yeah 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 and, um, um, and yeah then- I mean, the show appeals to like even if you like for example ours like I didn't know anything about League of Legends I ended up watching the show didn't have to know anything and you could love it yeah 10 I, out of 10 I, I thought it was very <laughs> no, cool I didn't win an Emmy for that right I mean I think, I think they got an Emmy oh, or, no or something like that I think the the song I don't know don't get me to start lying to you but nah I think, don't get me to start lying yeah but it's I will say cool don't get me to start lying to you I, why you gotta be so cool bro I just what I say bro that's, that's how <laughs> hey, I be don't get me to start lying to you don't get me to start lying to you bro <laughs> I can lie but don't get me to start lying it to did you, win the, the Emmy it's the first Emmy let's go outstanding animated thank program thank you Suki oh. look at her she's on it what else won that like on your mom something else won that recently in a Netflix series as well right Something. Arcane oh, they're that, the ones that, that won this year that was this year <laughs> yeah, that oh was year. okay yeah. Arcane yeah. barely came out in November 2021 so it only came out at 6 oh my seven, god that seems like way longer months. 11 10 months ago <laughs> 11, 10 11 months ago. 10 12 I mean last year yeah, yeah. So they, I mean they just this past Emmy Awards they won the Outstanding Animated Program ah well yeah it's getting a season 2 for sure uh, <laughs> I hope so man because it was it fucking left with a cliffhanger I like bet that, that shot that Masuka yeah. like he's talking about yeah, the, she shoots it at the end when she finally creates it at the end oh it's sick as fuck <laughs> no, man. That's like they, they tease yeah. that Masuka yeah. yeah. like and then, for you know, three oh episodes you always like, see it in the background and then he finally she finally picks up the Masuka and shoots it as the cliffhanger yes and there's at least six people in that room by the way so oh, yeah, that's her fucking pentakill <laughs> yeah. right? yes. like, yes. that's shout but, out yeah. like homage to the game exactly. what do you know the game is like a nuclear shot you know it's crazy Chapo is the I feel like you would appreciate the series more since you actually played the game. Oh fuck yes. yeah! So you probably find all the homages that we didn't catch as, yes. as yeah, players. I'm now, a, I'm gonna go deeper dive into it now. Knowing <laughs> that Vi has the gauntlets like in the game, it makes the the younger version of her fighting with her dad's gauntlets epic as fuck. Well, yeah. they're yeah. gauntlets, aren't they? No, 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 no. They got upgraded by like the Doc Victor, or whatever. They're oh, mechanical right. as fuck. They're like okay. Iron Man, fucking uh, yeah. Hulk Breaker, Hulk right. Buster. He's in the game too. He's my favorite character to play. He's very fun to play with Victor. Yes. Oh man, he's so. His uh, storyline in, in the show is kind of like fucked up. Fucked up, man. Yeah, but, but it's, it's fun it's, to play, though, like in the game. He it? traps you. He throws like a laser that explodes. And then his ability, his special ability is like he just throws like kind of like a, a, a big radius of electricity. So if you're in that radius of electricity, like you just, you're dead. You know, it oh. don't follow you. If you try to run and then press a button and it follows you. So you're like, <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> along with Victor is the other guy, the other main guy, uh, Jay Stallis. Oh, Jay Stallis. The Jace. I like his name. Believe it or not. With, the, with the gauntlet, where he shoots with the hammer. Yeah, yeah with he the shoots hammer. it and he can hammer. Yeah, just like the yeah, game. Just like yeah. in the yeah. show. Yeah. 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 But I really yeah. did like that they also showed He how throws a line, and if he shoot through the line, his explosion gets bigger. Oh, oh they showed cool. it in the show. They did not. Okay. If but, you cross his line, you slow down. So you're like, ah, fuck. Oh, uh, like you got hit with like a trap. Yep. 
That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jinx's Gatling gun or her her bombs. How it was introduced in the very beginning. Her bombs didn't work at first. How uh, she was still like making makeshift little crafts at first. They, she was like loading them up with nails or like yeah. smoke bombs and shit. Yeah, and they weren't working for fuck. And then later on, when the time skip happens and she becomes a badass and all of her traps are sick as fuck, you're like, yeah. damn, she just kept working and obviously she got really fucking good at it. Damn. So that's cool to hear that that also still passed on. Yeah, you know, again, oh, another yeah, thing yeah. that I love so about cool. the show is the whole idea that uh, the show is like uh, the way it's set up is set up in three acts basically. Uh huh. So it's, it's split. It's nine episodes. It's split up into three different acts. Yes, mm-hmm. which is three episode an act, mm-hmm. and uh, it basically you get the act one, which is when they're younger. Then right. it time jumps to act two, you know, catching up with everybody, and then mm-hmm. it time jumps again to act three. Yes, the conclusion. Yes. Okay. So it's three different acts. The way it's set up is really good. It was. Damn. There was so much going on, and you'd feel like, man, I'm gonna be overwhelmed. Like this is so much. Dude, I had no idea, but there were so many different aspects as far as uh, political overthrows. Um, the fights were crazy, too. Yeah, yeah. the fights. So there's the one fight that I really like, which is uh, Jinx versus uh, Echo. Oh, man. That fu- that was my favorite fight. Oh, Dude, that yeah. was the best fight the, where you could, like, it juxtaposes, like, Dan playing that game as a younger self. Yes. Dang. It was and, so and cool. And the song for that fight is also badass, which the soundtrack for the series as a whole. It was sick. It's it dope. fire. Yes. Echo is a guy that can go back in time, right? No. Oh. Well, in the show, he, he's a little different. Like, he's still oh, there. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> well, cool, Spoiler, because in the game, his ability is like, uh, 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 he can like, go back in time like for brief seconds, like, you know, quick. Really? So, like, go back as far like, as like why, eight uh, seconds. I didn't know that because that's why he has that, that clock. And that's, that's why, why he fight, always like, has the clock. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so. Yeah. See, like that's and, a cool thing that you would like, be like. Uh, that makes they, sense. They, yeah. I mean, they wouldn't know how to portray that in with the storyline because it's grounded. Well, but he's that's why he, he's like. He steals the technology in the game. They do show like how he got it. He stole it from somebody. So like whenever he they, runs, he leaves like a ghost of himself. They did show it. Yeah, yeah yes, this clock exactly, ticking because he's no, no, faster. He gets shot, and I was like, "Oh shit, he gets shot!" And then he goes back. Goes back. Yeah. And then he does it again. Holy shit, that is so fucking cool, man. Yeah. And the cool wow. thing is, is like let's say like so sometimes he's tough to kill because like he can roll towards you, throw something to slow you down, and then like you think you're being the shadow of him, right? And then like whoop, he does it. But when he does it, he leaves like a magic explosion. So if you're trapped within that explosion of his time back, uh-huh. of his time hop, you're fucked. Uh-huh. So sometimes you're like, oh hell yeah, I got Echo, I'm being the shadow of him. Boom. Nothing happened and he just ended up killing me. That's so, crazy. So, yeah, he's fun. That's cool that they show that in the, that is in the cool. show. You know, I, I think that their, their little plug to that also was uh, at the very end, whenever he gets fucked up, he pops a grenade. Yeah. And that's how he ends up getting jinxed at the end or whatever. Nah, yeah. uh, so you that, think he dies. Yeah. Well, spoilers. No, he, he doesn't Major die. Major spoilers. No, no, he, he does not die. He does not die. He for like injured. a whole episode, you, you think, think he's dead. dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 100%. You're like, like spoilers. no. Spoilers. Yeah, yeah. obviously. The, yeah. No, if you guys are this far, man. fucking hell is spoilers. No, man, I imagine like Netflix pulling out shows left and right. They're just so creative. Well, interestingly enough, they're pulling out of the animation uh, show, but they're still releasing something, a lot of stuff that's been in the wings. You know, oh. one that I'm really excited about, bro, is Kit Cuddy's new show that's getting ready to job. Oh, really? um, intergalactic Kid oh, really? Cudi is voicing it oh I saw the trailer it. for that man yeah, yeah man it's like a nice rom-com it's so interesting because uh, <laughs> the way know. it's like categorized yeah 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 this summer Kid Cudi Kid it's a uh, Naomi Banks it's an upcoming <laughs> adult animated music oh, streaming there, television man. special that's the wow. way it's kind of ca- <laughs> categorized <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. The music sounds like classic Kid Cudi. It sounds like Day a kid night. named Cudi, oh. like album uh, uh, in my in, in my mind. I need no, no. You think Indica? It also has an Indica vibe as well, it's true. which I really um, enjoy yeah. about Kid Cudi. Obviously, that's one of I'm my. I'm in the pursuit of happiness, and I know all that good shit, man. So we're really expecting to see that. Or I, that's what I can hear in the trailer. That sample of music that they played for us seemed really exciting and got me hyped just for the show uh, by itself. Hearing Kid Cudi voice act, the visuals of it actually look like Across the Spider-Verse for Spider-Man. Uh, so that was really badass that they did that shit. The, the additional voice acting seems yeah. really cool. And the visuals, man, it's the visuals of Kid Cudi, like yeah. through his eyes or whatever. Yeah. And I'm really excited. It looks yeah. great. Yeah, man. I, I, it looks like a good show, man. I look forward to that. Um, I think, I, like, there was an album that was supposed to come out with the show. I don't know if they held, like, they hold it back or it's still going to come out with the show. I hope they just hold it until the show drops and then we'll be able to listen to it on Spotify. Make sure you guys are on Spotify. Oh, you know and- what? Yeah, because <laughs> uh, the, the first single for the album that's coming out is called Do What I Want. 
that, do what I want. That song that came out in June. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah man, I look forward to the projects that are coming out. I mean, Netflix, I guess they're cutting short animation, but it looks like they're at least trying something different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, think about Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk, man. Cyberpunk this was, one coming up. I was really surprised with how good Cyberpunk was. It's yeah. not peak. It's not in my top ten. I won't say that, but it's a really good anime. Yeah. You got to appreciate yeah. the visuals, the colors. Ace Runners, which is an anime because it was uh, made by a Japanese studio. Facts, yeah. facts, made Japan. And Arcane is not an anime. It is not. It's, fr- it's a baguette. <laughs> it's like a big hit <laughs> <laughs> But hey man We'll make sure we put that In the next episode Coming soon Oh yeah man As soon as we get a chance To watch up and finish Cyberpunk um, Edge Runner You guys will be Make sure uh, you I'm the scat man But as soon as we finish Cyberpunk Edge Runner We will be doing a review On that one as well So you guys stay tuned Just like I review Mark's mom Damn Alright my man <laughs> 10 out of 10, I'll tell you what. 10 out of 10, I'll <laughs> tell, tell you, you what. what. All right, guys. You guys uh, good to wrap up this episode? I'm good. All right, no, guys. bro. There's still so many animated shows we have to talk about. Dragon Prince, one of my faves. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. <laughs> Sensei, though. No, nope, that's Crunchyroll. Sorry. That's her. Sorry. Uh, Dota, Dragon's Blood, also a great show based never, on Dota. Never never heard also, of it. This is a PC game, sir. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, that's, that's uh, so cool. I just go fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Suki. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, but we should start wrapping up here. Yeah. All right, guys. You guys, uh, let's get let's fucking wrap this show up. No, nah, right. let's wrap it up now. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Cue the music <laughs> and music. All right, guys. This has been uh, one of your hosts, Merck. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this week's episode. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Please make sure you guys are following us on Twitter and Instagram at. WBM underscore podcast. And hey guys, make sure you're already following us and hitting that like and notification button on everything from Amazon Music, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Google, Apple, all, all that, that good jazz. jazz. And it's your boy Tico. Um, as always, in the, in the baby. <laughs> you can always check out the website Tico WBM and the baby WBMPodcast.com. <laughs> and you can always send us your topics. Just hit us up on Instagram or TikTok or all of our social media. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and call this episode. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. We out this bitch. We'll see you next time. We out this bitch. Yeah.